name is Barry Ebner, um, printmaker. I've lived in Berkeley for 19, 17 years, uh, specializing in monotypes. And I went to Cuba as part of a group to do this collaborative project that we all didn't quite know what we were doing, which was marvelous about it. We knew we were collaborating, but we didn't know the parameters of it. Uh, and what came about is there was an agreement that all the print work would have at least two or three people in it. You know, that it wouldn't just be one person's work, but all of us working together to create the images. Uh, you could grab someone's print and add to it. You could, you know, work in the beginning on what you wanted image-wise. And, you know, we were dealing with Swiss artists, American and Cuban, so there were some language things happening. A lot of cultural things in terms of the different ways people choose to work. Uh, some cultures are more uh, controlling, others are a little bit freer in their approach. And that was manifested by the way the artists work. And uh, it was two weeks. Um, we got generous donations of supplies from Savo Fair. It was interesting because what was at the studio was not quite what I expected, at least. Some things were better in terms of size, space, the light, and other things like some of the presses are, didn't even match up to what I have. So it was a very much a make-do situation. Uh, work with what you have and work with the people. Um, but that was, a, in some ways, a very positive thing because if you know it had been exactly like I have, what's the point of being there? So a lot of the points were all of us adapting to different ways of working, uh, communicating, and yeah, so there was that aspect of it. And just also exchange of ideas, Hanoi ended up doing a big book project. Um, for me it was my first residency ever, so just even working with different people was uh, an experience. No, I think that there is uh, something new and uh, in English of us having English artists that would participate in that uh, project. And the Swiss, for example, the, um, one of the, the thing, uh, interesting thing is that no, nobody of you, no, 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 none of you, I had visited Cuba before. Well, what's funny is, so on the weekend when it was shut, Leon and I and Carrie Ann and Megan would go wandering. We would go do stuff. We went by the where the Swiss were staying the first Sunday, and they were all busy working. We'd been out all day, looking at stuff, wandering around, but they were busy working. They were doing their homework. Yeah. I don't do homework. I feel familiar in, in all the time in that project because I was working in my. It's, I yeah. mean, it's not my studio, but I belong to that place. I'm. I'm a member of that. Uh, Taller experimental de gráfica de La Habana. The confrontation about the, for example, the Swiss guys. Uh, uh, they, as an artist, I saw one uh, something in common between them with the. The, the cold thing, you know, the, 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 the respect to the white in the paper. Oh, yeah. The, was, and for me, uh, I, I like colors. <laughs> Very, like, <laughs> big ones and the thing, dripping. And that was very... Uh, Freeing. See? Yeah, there was, there's definitely different ways of making work, culturally. Yeah. Uh, the Cubans tend to be, tend to be, from what I saw, more figurative, uh, symbolic. Um, the Americans we had with us, I was the only one who gets really loose. The other three are very tight, but then they were the ones who had done residencies in Switzerland before. 
because that attracts them to their way of working. That was really the oddball. So I guess the question is to you is, will, it, will working here impact your working back at home now? I'm open to collaboration. I don't care if it's my idea or someone else's. What about you? I never been in that kind of collaboration. I mean, the the the, the kind of collaboration that they, okay, I print this and uh, it's not mine. So I, another artist is uh, can come and do whatever he wants. And I try to to it's, it's difficult to explain because you try to to keep your uh, yourself as an artist, but you know that. The rules said that no, you can't. You have to, and it's like a how to be flexible in the process of the authority thing, no? And it's interesting. Yeah, what's funny is you say you know you have to keep yourself as I got yelled at by Lee because I too much of myself was always there. <laughs> it was like Barry, you gotta you know not have your ego or your work so obviously you. But it's a very difficult exercise. <laughs> yeah. We've I mean, to use an art, to use an art <laughs> term, we've developed a dialogue. But in this way, it's a genuine dialogue, not a, you know, what started as maybe a constructed space for, you know, and some of the artists knew each other before, but for several of us, it's now, this is going to be ongoing. That's only the first thing. Um, you know, what shapes and who who works with what, but there was, there was none of that before for any of us. So that was cool. Um, it doesn't change my thinking towards making work. I mean, it doesn't change my work necessarily, cause, but it changes my thinking, opened my eyes to different ways of thinking about that doing the work and working with people, or reinforce things that I kind of knew but may, or now feel much more important. Like one of the things that came out in the show is none of the work is signed. Uh, it's all, we know who did what, but the, when the exhibit that's at 688 Sutter, people who go and don't know who did what pieces. There's no authorship. It's just all the names are listed and any name can show, could have been someone in any of the pieces. And in a sense of collaboration, you know, the giving up the ownership of who did what, whose mark is what, um, is huge for artists. I mean, we always want to say, I did this. Yeah. I did, you did, like, you did that line. I did this line. It's not my work. <laughs> it's, it's, it's ours. <laughs> it's our work. And, uh. Actually, from the... Cuba thing really came to value more working with people I don't know and working in situations where I don't ha you know I have to give up a certain amount of authority or control and react um, and let go of expectations because I like to work and react to react to what happens, allow a certain freedom to come into developing the work. And it's too often, as you get more into doing your work, you want to control more, do more, certain things, and make it fit certain parameters, where at a certain point that just turns into production and not artistic investigation. So I find that um, going into places like that, working with other people, and even if the, their own working methods don't change how I work, the conversations, uh, the talk about other work, the looking at other work, looking at each other's work changes the thinking in a much um, more important level. So, yeah, I, I mean, we hope to work again in the next couple of years. Uh, other opportunities that I think in the past I would have shunned. So, yeah, doing residencies. Uh, going in there and just playing is good, and it is play. <laughs>